Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get started with the Streamlit plotting libraries. In this lesson, we will be seeing how you can use the Streamlit native plotting libraries, how you can use the Matplotlib, Seaborn, Altair, Plotly plots inside the Streamlit application. Suppose that you are building a dashboard and you need to show here their very nice plots. So you need to have, you, you need to use these plots. So before that you need to know that how to use these plots. So you can get the whole code from my GitHub repository, Lakshmi Merit Streamlit tutorial. So in this, we are going to see all these kind of plots like area chart, bar chart, line chart, pie plot. That means we are going to see how you can use the matplotlib plots, seaborn plots, all kind of matplotlib and seaborn plots. Thereafter, I'll be showing you how you can use the map plots, Altair plots, and then plotly chart. All these kind of plots you can learn from my YouTube video tutorials as well. So if you want to know these things in detail. So there is a playlist for uh, learning these plots. You can simply visit that playlist. So this playlist is a Python tutorial for the beginners. In that playlist, you will be having here Seaborn complete tutorial, Matplotlib complete tutorial and Plotly complete tutorial. So I'm just going to give that link here as well. Okay, Python plots link. So I have just given this link. You can, you know, uh, visit this link and then you can uh, watch these if you want to see it into detail. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this file. So I need to write here stream lit run and thereafter 0, 7 underscore, press the tab. This will automatically complete the file and then it's going to run on this this localhost 8502. So I'm just going to refresh this. So the last tutorial will just get refreshed with the new one where we have streamlit plotting library example. Okay, so here is our sample application. We will be seeing with data frame. We will be loading our auto data frame here. Thereafter, we'll be seeing area chart, bar chart, line chart, and then we will be moving to the pi plot, C1 plots. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this. So the first of all, we start with our, uh, you know, uh, the data frame. So I write here DF. So necessary libraries I have already imported here that I must tell you that import streamlit as st, numpy as np, pandas, matplotlib.py, plot as plt, altair, plotly express and seaborn. So I just simply write here df is equal to the pd dot read csv and thereafter I'm just gonna read from the data auto dot csv file. Once I have this file, I can see that file here, always rerun and then I can see these file here. So I'll be using this file to, to, to you know, uh, do these plotting. So I write here df dot write and then hit. So the first five rows will be displayed only for the reference. Let's go ahead and get started with the area chart. So I start with the area chart. So to start with area chart, you can simply write here st dot area chart and uh, in that you need to provide the data frame. I mean the column which you want to 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 get it plotted as the area chart. So I I, I provide here mpg uh, as the area chart. Now you see that this is plotted as area chart. One more thing you see that it is quite interactive. If you put your cursor here, it will be showing you the index and x axis values as well. You can download these plot from here as well. You can store it as PNG. You can view the source. You can edit it into a Vega editor. So that is new kind of uh, uh, visualization library. If you want to show the multiple uh, data together, so for that you need to provide here a data frame into double square bracket. So I provide here MPG and then let's say you want to provide here weight. So I provide here weight. So weight and MPG is shown here, but you see the gap is quite high. So it's not properly shown there. So instead of that, I provide here cylinders. Now you should be able to see that cylinders and these MPG is shown here. So these are, uh, you know, the, these plots are plotted together here. That's how you can use the area chart. Let's go ahead and see how you can use the bar chart. So for that, you can simply write here st.bar chart. 
and thereafter the same data in fact you can use from here and then you just place it here then you would be able to see that as the bar chart but in bar chart there is so much of the data so I can simply write here head 20 so the first 20 rows I'm going to see here and this is a stacked bar chart okay so that means it says that this first color is cylinder here this one which seems a little you know uh, faded blue color and thereafter there is another dark blue color so this ha this one is mpg value and there is the cylinder the same thing you can see here in the area chart as well so this one is cylinders here and this area is mpg area there okay let's go ahead and uh, check our bar chart uh, bar chart in fact we have already done here so let's go ahead and do our uh, you know the line chart here so st dot line chart and in that I just copy this whole thing from there and then I place it here I can simply see here these line charts together I can increase this to 100 just to make sure that I see this line chart uh, in more visually appealing way so that's how you can use the line chart so these are some of the basic charts available with the streamlit if you want more freedom with the charts then you can use pi plots like matplotlib seaborn and the plotly charts which will be providing you more control in the charting so let's go ahead and do that pi plot chart so i'm going to do here so to pi plot chart i write here uh, first of all I need to get here figure axis so I'll be getting canvas and then the figure axis and thereafter I'll be plotting there so for that I write here ST mm -hmm. in, in fact I'll be writing here figure AX that's the figure and axis so I get here figure canvas and the axis PLT dot uh, subplots so I get my figure this whole figure canvas and also these axis thereafter I write uh, here uh, correlation value so basically I'm going to get the correlation value of these data frame variables so I write here core and if you print here st dot write this core value so you will be seeing there a correlation value let me just yeah just comment this one so this says that could not convert a string to float uh, okay seems like something so some problem is there in string values of these correlation so for that I'm just going to put manually some of the variables inside this correlation so that I can get a proper correlation I need to make it a data frame okay so these are the correlation values let's go ahead and put uh, uh, a little bit more uh, uh, variables here so I put here displacement and then I also put here horsepower so these are four variable which I'm using here then you see so these are shown as the data frame and let's say if you want to show this data frame as the heat map then how you can do that so you can simply use this uh, you know the subplots to show it as the data frame so I write here uh, to show it as the heat map SNS dot heat map and inside that I provide this core that's the correlation value so these correlation values where we had that these will be used as their uh, uh, heat map so I write here ST dot pi plot and thereafter I need to paint our figure so here is figure so this figure will be painted here now you see that the figure is painted here let's go ahead and provide here more variables so to provide more variables I'm just gonna I mean to make it is to to make it look good aesthetically so I'm going to provide here a note is equal to true now you will be seeing that the annotation is done so this is kind of the same thing what we were seeing here the correlation matrix but this one is shown in more better way what we had seen earlier you can also provide here few more things like let's say if you want to set the axis and uh, 
you want to set the labels and the title etc you can simply set those so you can write there ax dot uh, set title and then you can say that correlation values or you can say that it is a heat map now you see the correlation values and the heat map all the configuration python related i mean to say that the pyplot or matplotlib related configuration you can do after this and before this okay so that's how you can use the seaborn as the heat map let's see how you can use a standard matplotlib library to plot the line plot so the same formula we are going to use here. So I just copy this whole thing from there. And thereafter, I simply write here ax dot plot. And thereafter, I provide our data frame here. So this whole data frame will be provided here. And then I write here st dot pi plot. And then I provide here figure. Okay, so this figure will get painted here and now you can see it here. These two lines are plotted here. So the same kind of uh, configuration you can do what you do in general in matplotlib like ax dot uh, uh, set x label you can do and in that you say that it is index and thereafter you can also do ax set y label and in that you see that it is mpg and and what else it was it was cylinders and then you can provide here ax dot set title and then you can see that this is line plot of mpg and cylinders all right Perfect. So all these configuration you can do. Similarly, you can use any kind of matplotlib plot you want to use, either seaborn plot or matplotlib. Like you can use the scatter plot, relational plots, and so many other type of plots. Everything you can plot with this. Okay. So now I'm just moving forward. I'm going to show you how you can use the plotly chart, and thereafter I'll be showing you how you can use the map and then how you can use the Altair chart and thereafter you know finally I'll be showing all these things into the map. So those part I'll be covering into next lesson.